welcome everyone. Great to see you here and hello if you're joining us uh, online and streaming with us tonight and more importantly praying with us. So together either in person here in the building or wherever you are uh, you can join us in prayer and we're going to be praying uh, in all kinds of areas across the world and back here in Clevedon. So uh, great that you're here, great that we can pray together and uh, we want to, to do that. Part of our 100 years is to keep on praying as the church has for 100 years here, that in our centenary year that we would be interceding, praying, giving thanks and praise to God. Blessed are you, Lord God of our Father Israel, from of old and forever. Yours, Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory, the splendour and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, Lord, is the sovereignty. And you are exalted over all as head. Of course, that's why we gather to pray in the name of Jesus together this evening. And now, our God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. And we're going to seize uh, this first part of our time in uh, this prayer focus evening to, to give thanks to God and to praise God's glorious name. And so, if you want to, you could stand with us and uh, whether you're at home or here and we could lift up voices and we could look to God to do great, marvellous, sovereign things as we pray together this evening. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Oh, 
you are holy, oh holy, 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 so holy, holy, holy.
Okay, John, if you could put uh, up on the screen my pictures. That's the wrong one. Hello, we're going to Pastor come back to Anthony. That in a it is good to that's hear okay. from we're, you. Um, uh, we're going to do thankful. Agape Church in a minute. Not quite. Now, that's the one we want. Well done. Brilliant. Okay. So, uh, this evening, we're going to pray lots of, lots of different things to pray about, or there's themes for us to pray. Sometimes we're going to use some set prayers, other times there'll be opportunity. Uh, both in the building or at home. We'll leave the slide up and you can uh, pray, uh, pray with somebody else if you'd like to, about some of these things. You, you may want to do a kind of some screenshots or photo shots of some of the slides so you can take them away with you and uh, remember what we are uh, praying about. But uh, immediately we're going to pray into this whole situation which is changing the whole time and there's all kinds of things happening in the news around this and of course we uh, um, are uh, hearing stuff that uh, is perhaps already out of date because things are, are so uh, changeable out there but uh, this whole thread of war and uh, uh, nations against nations and uh, diplomacy happening and so on and uh, so th there's uh, some pictures there that uh, are, are from recent days uh, from our TV screens and newspapers uh, of uh, Russia, Ukraine and uh, the whole thing of uh, Eastern Europe uh, and uh, uh, what's happening in that situation. We'll leave that picture there for a moment because that will alert you and stir thoughts in your own mind. It's a massive, big theme to be praying into. But as we started, yours, Lord, is the sovereignty. You are head over all well. We're coming praying and we know that in the end days, final days, there will be wars, rumours of wars, nation against nation and, uh, and uh, we, 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 we see it in history, we see it in the world. Of course, this is just one conflict. This is in the news at the moment. There's conflict after conflict that's hidden from the news screens today because this one's taking sort of the priority uh, and that just reminds us of the, the whole world in turmoil and why we need the Prince of Peace back and the government being upon his shoulders. What we're going to do is there's a, uh, uh, an Evangelical Alliance prayer. Uh, I don't expect you to be able to see that from there, but just to say it is there. But Joe's going to pray this prayer. It's praying for peace in these days. But if you wanted the prayer, um, you could um, look up the EA, you pray for Ukraine and you could find it yourself. Just good to have some words just to do that. And we'll just work our way through the prayer and there'll be a few little gaps just so you can, uh, uh, in your own minds, hearts, be interceding into this situation. So I'll put back the pictures because they're very visual for us. And uh, uh, as you see them on the screen, either here or at home, you'll hear uh, these words of prayer. Thanks, Joe. Let's pray for peace. Almighty God, we pray for the situation on the border of Ukraine. We pray for those who live in fear that you may grant them peace. We pray that the voices for discernment and peaceful solutions may prosper. Lord, we ask that you raise up peacemakers on all sides that war and violence might be averted. Give diplomats wisdom, understanding and build trust. We ask for the church in the nations involved. May they be salt and light in a dark situation. Lord, we lift this dangerous situation to you. May your kingdom come. Amen. And Lord, we worship you as saviour of the world. In Jesus' name. Amen. Great. Um, uh, we're, Albert's going to come up here for a second. Karen, just join me up here a second. Uh, that, that's good, because we're now going to uh, uh, move across to a couple of our slides here, just pick up that, that, that mic. It's, and let's all switch on for it, don't sit on it. Um, 
Uh, Josh is away on a Bristol Baptist College uh, uh, retreat week, so uh, he's not here. But there's some prayer points up on the screen, and they're on the screen for you to better uh, glance at. They'll be coming backwards and forwards in the next few minutes, and so don't worry if you can't uh, remember them well. They'll stay on the screen. But there's some things for you to be praying about. Uh, uh, I popped in on Friday night here. It's really buzzing. We have a whole gang of young people here. Uh, they do have the ability to produce sound beyond measure. It's just amazing. But uh, there's some great uh, stuff happening amongst our young people. Really encouraged. I uh, say so Josh would have been here uh, to uh, share some of this stuff, but we're uh, his away. So that his, there's his prayer points, and we will put them back on the screen for you to see in a moment. Uh, Karen's here. You, you've got that microphone. You're sitting on it, Karen. That's no, it. No, You're here. Don't, don't sit on it. Uh, we're not going to read all the prayer points out, uh, but there's some Poets Muse, which is a, uh, one of our church congregations in Poets Muse Community Church. Uh, they're down in the Poets Muse uh, care home, and it's uh, we're back, aren't we? That's why I wanted you up here. Firstly, so we can see the f- Karen who's looking after Poets Muse with me and others, but uh, we're back this Sunday. And what are we doing this Sunday? Well, what are you doing this Sunday? Because I'm on next week, not this uh, week. This, this Sunday, um, Susan Dare's heading up yep. the service. Um, I decided that what we were going to do was not really appropriate. So yep. we're having a service of thanksgiving that God has looked after them while they've been in shutdown and locked in their rooms. That although um, some people were, a couple were really poorly, nobody lost their lives. Um, so, yeah, it, we we're going to do some Bible reading, some prayer, and some songs of thanksgiving. Fantastic. So, And that's at half past two on, right. on a Sunday, every Sunday. So we're back into that now. Yes. And I'm really pleased about that. And, of course, you're one of our chaplains in there. Well, there, there's some other great prayer points. In fact, uh, Karen's produced a sort of a bit of a prayer sheet. That they're around <laughs> down here. We'll put them up to the back there before you go home. Um, and you can take that. And so you can be interceding for Poets Muse uh, Community Church back on Sunday. Albert MTL with Mary, his wife, MTL for families. And we're back into Muddy Church and Mosaic Church. Family stuff is happening. A couple of prayer points about families that we could do that. And then we're going to pray about these three yeah, subjects. I, I wasn't clever enough to get a PowerPoint. That's all right. That. You do it live and go <laughs> for it. <laughs> a bit more on the cuff myself than Mary. No, Karen didn't do that either. So <laughs> I I know. Um, anyhow, uh, yeah, we had a, a bit of a chat about this last night. And probably the... the the most striking thing about coming out of lockdown and COVID and all the rest of it and trying to get back to some sort of normality is the fact that we've got families who aren't with us here anymore or don't seem to be or on the edges. And we certainly want to be praying for them and to help them get back into fellowship and in a more regular basis, whether that's Muddy Church or, or, or Mosaic um, or here in, here in the main <laughs> congregation, let's say. Um, the other, other one is we've also got a lot of new families who come in, which is a blessing. And we want to pray for them as well. So, and that they will settle now that we've started to join back together on yeah. a more regular basis. Because um, joining online and, and a new, new church and all the rest of it is one thing. But joining a, a congregation, meeting regularly is a bit different yeah. as well. So there's different complexities there as well. So we just want to pray for all of that, yeah. really. Two great things there. So families coming back and new families settling in and joining them all together. Yeah. So that'd be yes, great. Certainly. Yeah. And then the other thing is obviously the anxiety that some people have as well. And families have and the, you know, the difficult period that... Yeah. Um, well, we know it in our own family. Our, our children have gone through a very unsettled two years. Um, and to try and bring some more... Settled, you know, kind of a settled normality back to some degree, you know, and and um, and and searching for God, you know, and and nurturing that within the with our own children and, and helping families to do that. Okay, so there's three key areas for praying into youth, and then to poets' views, these will stay on the screen, and then picking that theme up of of families. And so uh, if you're on your own at home, that's great. Pray for these. You'll see the, the, the pictures on the screen. If you've got other people with you, get praying at home in here. We can turn. If you'd like to pray on your own, that's fine. But if you want to join up with a couple of other people, move around, uh, uh, gather them in. Let's pray together for a few minutes. And then um, uh, we're going to uh, pick up 
uh, so wrong, Judy just come and say something about seniors in a minute then. So uh, uh, she's got a slide there. She's, she's, she's looking full of joy about that, that opportunity. So there you go. Uh, so we're going to do that. Just to remind you, our Elf course run tonight as well. Lots of stuff is happening, but let's do this stuff. Let's pray. And uh, we'll perhaps have a bit of background music as well just from our, our musicians over there. Youth, Poets Muse, Families. Let's do that for a few minutes. Let's pray. Thank you. Thank you. Leave your mics on those chairs so we can do that. Yeah.
So register those three things. And then uh, on Sunday, we, we appointed uh, Judy as our, our ministry team leader for seniors. So come and just sit up here so we can just uh, a round of applause for that row, I reckon. Anyway, it's fantastic you're doing this job. And, and some great prayer things on here, and uh, which Judy's put together for us. So I'm not going to read them all off there. You can see them there. But um, it was great last week, wasn't it? We had a good news event. L lots of people here. Really excited to see that developing. Yeah. There's, more, there's more coming each time, which is very gratifying. Yeah. Because it shows that um, it is filling a need, that people are finding confidence in it to ask other people. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's, you know, encouraging. So it's a key thing to pray for. So it's a, 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 an event during the week. People, seniors gather. And, and it's really to share faith, but to share stories and connect with people, build relationships. It's all... A whole it's all load of stuff things. going on, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. And, and that's what's on the on the on this slide for us to be praying about. And um, and we and Judy and team ask for wisdom and guidance in making plans in terms of multi activities, events, and uh, for future events. So I know there's ideas flying around, and that's exciting stuff. And in fact, today I've spent time um, doing um, an. I think quite a nice letter um, to all those that I identify as being kind of 65 and over. Um, Alex has been dealing with 70 plus, but I would like to also include younger, retired, yeah. but actively so retired Pull the people. age group down. Well, yeah, because they can help with yeah. the whole thing. You know, they can perhaps volunteer for some of the things that the older ones might not. But um, anyway, so I've been spreading some ideas there and right. asking for feedback. And in doing that, I'm co communicating with about 90 people, yeah. which is about half our congregation. That's great. Well, mm. it's a vital area of ministry. Great. We could connect. The idea of these having people up here so we uh, can, oh, yeah, that makes connections. So if you get stirred up as you're praying about this, uh, sense God is saying something uh, into this area of our, our life together, our mission uh, out into Clevedon. Uh, Judy will, and team are all ears about that. We want to be praying about this, praying for this. So that's we're going to pray about seniors, but we're also going to link this in with going overseas again. John, we're going to show that video now, can we? From thank you, Judy. It's brilliant. Um, and John, we, can we, is that possible to move our technology across in some in a moment? Okay, brilliant. When it's ready, go for it. He's lost the mouse, oh dear. We found the mouse. There it is. We're going to pray for Agape Church. We're going to hear from Tony about some prayer points for Agape Church. He's done a little video for us, so. We might find it, we might not. If we need to come back, we'll come back to that. I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to pray for seniors. We're going to let you suss it out of the back there, between the three of you. And anybody else that knows can help. And then we'll see if we can get it going. Uh, and uh, Heather to the rescue, maybe. There you go. Anyway, before we do that, let's carry on praying. Let's get into praying for seniors. And then we will get the video tuned in and we'll go for it in a minute. So, uh, okay, let's pray about this.
Shall we stand together? We're going to say the words of uh, the Lord's Prayer as we say. More important, let's pray the words of the Lord's Prayer. Then we're going to sing, um, we're going to do Waymaker. Just so you know, John, we're going to do Waymaker then. So, uh, hey, love me tonight. I don't think that video is going to work, so I'm sorry about that. We're, we're trying to suss it out, but I don't think it's going to work tonight. We'll get it to you somehow. But let's pray this wonderful words. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. You are here, moving in a... Oh, wrong key. Gwen, this can be good fencing session. Get the right you key. You are here, moving in a... I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you, I worship you. You are, you are way maker, miracle worker, always keeping that in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are way maker. Darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here, touching every heart. I worship you, I worship you. You are here, healing every heart. I worship you. lives around. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. Man, every
and thanks, John, to the slides, the pictures. That'd be great. We can do that in a moment. Thank you. And uh, we, we've got behind me on the backdrops here, as well as now on the screen, the uh, Frontline logo. You remember? Got your pencils last year and your coasters and, uh, and different gifts with that, that, that front line reminding us that uh, church is not just here gathered but sent. And we talked, don't we, in the life of the church about our 104 hours of, of sent mission. And we want to uh, be always praying about that and naming those places and uh, into those places praying these words. Should we say these words? We say all these words. They're only in colour so you can see the different uh, lines on there. But uh, should we pray this as we think about uh, that front line? Just think about your front line today, tomorrow, maybe the same, maybe different as you go through the week. You may have various front lines. We all have different front lines. Just recall them to mind now. And then we're, we're pray this prayer. Let's pray together. Lord, make my mind sensitive to you. Lord, make my heart in tune with yours. Lord, make my lips willing to move for you. Lord, make my ears sensitive to you. Lord, make my will in tune with yours. Lord, make my feet willing to move for you. Lord, make my hands open to you. Just think about that prayer being worked out into your front line, into that place where you work, your useful activity, your useful activities, away from here, as you're sent and scattered into all kinds of situations, into those leisure places, into the road, the close, the street where you live, of those houses, those neighbours, those people around you. Of course we're salt and light on our front lines. And so, Lord, having spent time praying about gathered church, we thank you for sent church, those 104 hours that we times that by all of us sent. That sheer potential within those days those hours, those minutes to serve your kingdom purposes there. In Jesus' name. Amen. So register that. Keep praying for your own front line, but find out other people's front lines as well. We've, we've done a bit of that, haven't we, over the years here. One of the things we're doing this in our hundred years is we uh, are really trying to tune in our praying to seek God's vision not just for our own lives, we kind of know that really in some ways, and, uh, and not just God's vision for the church because we, 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 we're working some of that stuff out and, and working on that, but to, to pick up this uh, idea of seeking God's vision for this town that we're part of, that we live in, and this region. Because we serve not just Clevedon, but the, the surrounding uh, areas there. And I'd like us just to be praying for our town. Um, you go to the website, you get the lovely sort of picture of the aerial view down onto the, the, the seafront, which is great, and uh, our famous cinema and all that kind of stuff. But uh, uh, loads of people live in Clevedon as well, and uh, uh, it could be your house, I don't know, it's just come off the, the, the uh, uh, Cleveland Google images today, so uh, there, there you go, but of course we've, we've done some uh, open prayer spaces, we did that in the midst of, that, of the pandemic, it's one of the first things we're able to do when we opened this building up, and again we're hoping to be able to do some prayer space, not just for ourselves, but again for the community as we go forward. We, we've done this stuff about dementia friends and we've done some training about that and we've tried to make ourselves more aware of uh, uh, helping people, uh, serving people 
um, who um, uh, have some of the challenges of, of, of dementia and how we can uh, stand with them and care uh, alongside them. And of course, we've got Poets Muse where we're, we're serving. Uh, Clevedon Bid, uh, the chaplaincy working out into the uh, um, town centre is great and up into Hill Road is great. And uh, we're really encouraged by that, uh, what's happening there. Uh, one of our meetings, the chaplain was saying, we really need to make connections with, with Clevedon Bid, which is a group of businesses really trying to make a difference here in, in, in Clevedon. And uh, just soon after that, we got an email of invitation, what Kelly did in the office anyway, connected to him with that. And so that's, that's exciting stuff as these, these little contacts happen and we, 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 we build into the, 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 the town. And so we become part of what's going on there, not just come in here but actually we, we are part of what's happening in our town and we serve our town and stand alongside our town and uh, and make a difference in our, our town there. Be good if we could spend some time, a little bit of time now praying, if nothing else, asking God to help us uh, see this town, this lovely town that we're part of as he sees it uh, and start to uh, tune into his vision and heart and will for this town. And uh, uh, that means that we need to be perhaps more open to that, that prophetic leading in our praying and in our, our, our feeling as we're praying uh, this evening. So it's not just interceding for the town, but tuning into God's heart for, for Clevedon. And you may be stirred to pray some things. You think, that's a bit of a strange thing to pray, but I'm going to pray that because we're... We're seeking God's blessing, God's favour, God's will uh, for this town and we want to uh, uh, tune into that. So, for minutes to do that, I, I, I want to encourage you to take this theme on then, maybe into the rest of this week, that this will be a, a priority prayer theme. You know, keep praying about this and tuning into the heart of God for Clevedon. Let's pray together, let's do this. For a few minutes together, thank you. Hands are on the lowly, who never fail to hear the cries of those who call to you for mercy, Lord. The heart is with the humble, who never fail to sing those who make you love the rock and hiding place. But you are my refuge, you Take our tears of sorrow and pour our streams of love. Your word is ever speaking, it's ever giving up. Speaking to our darkness, calling forth your light. You are my refuge, you are my hiding place. My Put to shame. 
at work in this town. Thank you for your people, different congregations that are, uh, make up the church in this town and in this region. And Lord, we thank you that you are the light in the darkness. And uh, Lord, that you can do great and marvellous things in these days. And Lord, we may have all kinds of thoughts and opinions about uh, uh, this town, this region, uh, and uh, Lord, they may be well-informed uh, thoughts and ideas, but Lord, help us as we're walking around the place, as we're engaging with people, uh, to also uh, have, as it were, though, that's, that spiritual, prophetic insight and wisdom, and uh, Lord, that we would... Uh, tune into your heart that what breaks your heart will be breaking our heart and uh, Lord where we see you at work that we would be there uh, serving your purposes and where uh, we need to speak out for justice and for righteousness Lord that you would give your people in this town and region courage to do that. Lord we're we're grateful for vision for our own lives and that sense of vision and direction for this church in the town. But Lord, we, we don't want to miss what you're doing wider than us as we seek your kingdom purposes, as your kingdom is coming into this town and region. And so Lord, uh, help us to have that, that awareness that, that prophetic vision revelation for Clevedon in Jesus' name. Amen. Just to say that as you're going out, uh, um, or if you're back in the building on Sunday, you better pick these up. Uh, we've got a variety of uh, BMS prayer sheets. You, I'm just waving it. You won't be able to see it much, but I'm waving it. There's three of them from our different BMS Link people that we're praying for. I happen to have Jane Edwards here in my hand. Uh, her prayer sheet diary. Pick all three up, if you want all three versions, or one of them at least, go and be praying about that as well. And uh, we're going to be hearing from these people. In fact, we, we're going to be, be meeting them in the coming weeks, months. Uh, um, uh, and uh, Ruth's doing a great job of trying to book some of these people who happen to be back in the UK and booking them into uh, uh, the, the church programme here. So that's going to be really good. We're coming to the end of this day and uh, it's night time. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. We're going to use some words of prayer now um, to round our gathered prayer time to an end, but also to kind of round today up as we move into, at some point soon, we hope, uh, some rest and sleep. Let's pray together. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with In peace we lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. And we pray, abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch look for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And then we say this word of blessing for us all, for our church family here online uh, this night. So let's pray. The Lord bless us and watch over us. 
the Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen. And so rest and sleep and be refreshed well for kingdom serving tomorrow. But don't forget what we've been praying for. Far from that, register it. Let's continue uh, be our people that continue to pray and pray in the spirit but thank you for being here thank you for being with us online or picking up this prayer time at another day uh, and we're so glad you've been able to do that and let's be a praying people god bless you